Hello Trackheads, and today you're seeing some test server 8.7 footage and right now you're looking at the uh, Soviet tech tree and something's changed now I'm waiting to see if you guys have actually spotted it yet but something has changed and the thing that's changed is there's no T50-2 phased out they have added this tank, the MT-25. It is a light tank, tier 6, a, pro a proposed project of a light-wheeled light Caterpillar vehicle. The draft was completed in February of 1943. Most innovative feature was the suspension design. The suspension wheels were in interleaved and the power was delivered to all wheels. No prototypes were ever manufactured. So it, it's a work of fiction tank. but. The best thing about this thing is it's an alternate way of getting into the KV-13. So it's something you'd want to think about. Now I, I, I'm going to get this tank and I'm going to unlock everything. This is test server footage so you know. We'll just unlock everything. Okay. Now, let's take a look at some of its guns. Okay, so it gets the standard Zosis 4, tier 2, tier 2. The biggest gun it's gotten is that gun with 112 pen. So, let's see how well it does. I will buy it maxed out with 100% crew. Max tracks, max engine, max radio, max turret. And the max gun. Hey, okay, let's go back. Light tanks. Here it is. Go to services. Do all that fun little voodoo oodoo that you do best. And it even gets the uh, speed governor remove removed. So we'll, we'll try that out throw on some extra camo why not again it's test server but we can okay Let's see what she gets tools wise no rammer no ram loader but what'd you expect so we're gonna go with a passive scout build like so and our commander he is obviously gonna get six cents and these guys are all gonna get camouflage we are a light tank so and it's tier six so we uh, the only real American counterpart that there is is the T21 same tier so we'll actually get to see what performs better now I'm not sure if this will get tiered matchmaking or not but we'll get some gameplay footage in on that also there is a new tank destroyer on the block it's a German premium E25 look at that sloped angling look at it god uh -huh. uh -huh. 50 millimeter all around 30 on the side 30 in the rear so you don't want to get flanked 710 radio range 360 view 44 degree traverse oh this thing's going to be quick look 65 look at look it's 26 tons with a 700 horsepower engine oh my god this is kind of like a turretless version of, of Uh, 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 of the Hellcat. I have got aftermarket camos. Cruise all at 100%. I haven't gotten to any games of it yet. I wanted to show you what its rivals are that you, you're, you're going to come across. Of course, you're going to come across the American T25-2. Look at that size comparison for a brief second. This thing looks like a VW bug squished into a box shape and had a gun stuck in it. Now, let's check out the gun for a second, shall we? 
It's the 7.5 centimeter Stuck 42L70 with 20 rounds per, per minute, 150 average penetration, and 300, uh, uh, 135 uh, average hit points of damage with a 0.3 accuracy and a 1.5 aim time. This tank I can see being a really, really, really big pain in the ass. And of course, you'll have the 18, uh, the uh, 1815 a to contend with, premium wise. Again, I'll get some gameplay footage of this tank, but I want to try out that new Soviet light tank. Let's see see what we get with this bad boy, shall we? And look at it. This top speed is 72 kmh, 48 degrees traverse speed. Turret has 48 degrees traverse speed. Blimey, a 600 horsepower engine with the upgrade, a tier 10, level 10 radio. It's only weakness I see is that damn gun. So, you know, it is the test server. So, um, I am prepared for a lengthy wait slash, you know, you're fighting nothing but tier 10s. And let's see. No, tier 7s. Look at all the E25s. <whistles> Looks like I'm not the only one trying to get some uh, sneaky game footage, huh? Well. Everybody says that the tank's pretty cool. Well, we'll find out. Oh, yes. We'll find out. Interesting to say the least. And there's the uh, E70 E25. Oh, and he got me. This vehicle is hacked. Well, let's. First impressions of the little tank ain't that bad. I mean, it wasn't a good map for a, a light tank, but. All around, not bad. Now, let's jump in the E25 and see how she does, shall we? Again, you know, expect everyone to be shooting premium. I mean, they've got the, the free gold. So I am expecting everyone to be shooting premium in their mother. Remember, this is the first draft of, of 8.7. So everything is subject to change. Um, I'm going to be trying out some of the British artillery in a little while. I've already pre-unlocked them. So, uh, wow, here we go. Oh, I feel sorry for that T29 and that KV-13. Oh, God. Look, the MT-25. Wow, this, this should be a fun little game. See, I've got 830 hit points. That's pretty impressive. From a mod modeling standpoint, it's a pretty easy looking tank. Um, let's increase the minimap a little bit. 
time to roll out. Let's find a nice position. And... Oh, she gets to 48, 40 kmh pretty quick, pretty easy. Now, I believe this map has been uh, uh, revamped. Alpha damage there. Simple off the cuff shot. much lead there. Not enough. So that one catch some air there. Penetration. Oh yeah, we can hurt the uh Deadly little accurate gun. It's actually quite a, a fun little tank. I may actually get this for when I start to go down the German line. You know, have a pre have a uh, a tank destroyer waiting. Armor's not much, but then then again, you don't expect the armor to save you. But that gun, oh oh lord, uh, master gunner, mastery badge, third class in my first game with that scout tank. Wow. So I take it we won. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at my, what my my earnings was potentially. Go back. Take a look. Now I don't have premium, so what you see is what you get. Oh, and apparently we had a uh, tank destroyer that uh, killed a teammate. Not bad. Let's uh, let's get us some premium, shall we? And that way we'll uh, get to find out. It's a weird-looking tank. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of like they 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 shrunk a. a it, it, it's like they just took <laughs> a, a a KV one or a KV one uh, S and just. Shrunk it in the wash <laughs> and gave it regular road wheels, <laughs> but they f forgot to shrink the turret. <laughs> it's an odd looking tank, but man, is it fun! Wow, boy, is it fun! Okay, let's take a look at some uh, 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 British artillery pieces, shall we? Uh, here we go, let's take a look at the... Now, the Saxton is the uh, premium... the premium uh, artillery piece. And so we will shove one of you in there. 
definitely one of you in there. And what else? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll throw you in there. My standard consumable rack line. Uh, med kit, repair kit, manual fire extinguisher. Okay. Let's take a look at getting some camo for it. Why not? Okay, now let's take a look at the Sexton 2. Uh, got practically everything already unlocked for it. So that's good. We'll get the bigger upgraded gun, the 25 pounder. Now let's take a look here. Hmm. Again, I'll go with my standard uh, consumable rack. Okay, and again, we will go with the rammer, the lay drive. And camouflage. And again, we'll go with some camouflage. Camouflage is pretty cheap. So let's take let, let let's com compare the apples to the oranges, shall we? Hmm. Identical in every way. Okay. Now we'll, we'll do the uh, commander skill. What shall we give him? Um, oh, I don't know. We'll give him brother in arms. How about that? Yeah, we'll start with brother in arms. I wish there was an option where you could just select all of them at the same time and give them all the same skill. You know, like repair, camouflage, firefighting, etc, etc. And these guys, I'm going to go a different route. Intuition. Now these are normally skills I'd never use. Driver. Um. So, uh, let's give the Saxon one a try, shall we? Let's go, let's go with the uh, the premium artillery piece. How about that? Hmm. Plenty of cute players. Oh, I would. Uh, I'd like to take this time to uh, thank uh, Johnny in the live stream for the uh, gift of the uh, digital uh, uh, 720 HD uh, webcam that I'm using right now. Um, thank you so much. Um, you are one of a kind. And I'd like to let you guys know that I do uh, have a Twitch TV. I live stream World of Tanks. And uh, I'm also in the process of getting a little bit better at League of Legends before I start to live stream it. And uh, so, uh, yeah. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting into a game anytime soon. <sighs> Am 
must get preferred matchmaker. Oh well. That kind of sucks. I really would like to have seen the uh, this artillery piece uh, do its thing, so to say. But uh, looks like we're going to get to do that in this video. But uh, maybe the next one. So uh, if you like this video, guys, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a like on YouTube. Hell, if you like the video, maybe I might even earn your subscription. That would be great. Um, always, you can find me on Twitch. I'm on f I'm on Twitter under the name uh, uh, Deceptive Cobras. I'm also on Facebook. It's uh, fa uh, just on Facebook. Just type in Deceptive Cobras. You'll find me. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, early look at 8.7 uh, test footage, guys. Um, newest tank is the Soviet MT25. A rather odd looking mini cooper ish looking uh um yeah, uh, kv1s and uh the german e25 tank destroyer Ooh. dun 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 <laughs> And, well, what can I say? This is a fun little tank destroyer. Everyone's using it right now on the test server because it's the newest tank on the test server. Um, but its core rivals, you saw, was T-29s, uh, KV-13s, uh, KV-2s. It does look like it gets preferred matchmaker. So, it looks like it might be a mainstay for me when I uh, get back to... Uh, to the regular server after 8.7 and it will set you back dun, dun, dun. it will set you back 7,000 gold pretty expensive it's up there I mean it's more expensive than the Panzer 5 M10 um, even more expensive than the Dikimax um, so you know you have to think about it I mean for the same amount of gold you could pick up the Dikimax the T-15, and, I mean, heck, you could pick up the Dick and Max, the T-25, and the T-15, so. Will it be worth the reinvestment? I mean, at 2,700 average damage per minute, that's nothing to sniff at, you know? I mean, let, let's take a look at the low. How much does the low make in an in a average minute damage-wise? Let's see, average standard shell damage is 200 to, to 400. So, mm, we'll take a look at this one. Average shell pen, uh, average shell damage is 101 to 169 on the, on the random num net generator. I honestly think the E25, if it spotted the Lerva first, could and got shots on its side or its rear, could actually kill the lava. Huh. I guess it will be a cash up tank I'll be looking at getting. That is pretty cool. So, uh, 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 rough breakdown. Newest tank so far. E25. And the Soviet MT25. Just, wow. Hmm. Food for thought, guys. Food for thought. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video with a uh, keep your shells flying and keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander.